Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And uh, I'm looking for kind of a universal saw blade holding handle. Um, I have some uh, others. I mean, this is a kind of the classic uh, snap on here. It's got moving parts. Um, basically it grabs a little hole um, and super slippery handle. This is my favorite for the Sawzall style blades or the reciprocating saw blades that Milwaukee has. They don't make this anymore. I wish they did. Um, it's threaded on the back, but it uses a standard Sawzall um, kind of locking ring. And then uh, I'm trying also to get or find a solution around using some of the dedicated hacksaw blades. I'd like to be able to use any length of blade, whatever, if I've snapped it off. You know, think of a overlanding kind of a, a vehicle kit. Um, this one's a little big and bulky. This is great when you're going to be using them, but for just hanging on to them, you know, in a kit... I was looking for another solution, and this might be it. This is a Nicholson or Crescent Nicholson universal file handle. Obviously, it's designed, you know, for, you know, grabbing a file like this. Cinches down. Hasn't changed in design in probably, gosh, I don't know, 50 years maybe. I bought this one maybe 30 years ago or so. Made in USA Craftsman, Sears Craftsman. Um, but anyway, that's that's what it does. It's, it, and these have always held really tight, you know, this kind of a design. So I thought, what about with saw blades? Well, here's a torch. This is, I, I want to have a set of different kinds of blades for cutting wood, cutting metal. Um, and if I put this in, I, mean, I know it's going to tilt, you know, from tests already. So I'm just put it in at a, at a tilt and then tighten this down. Now the concern might be that it would uh, you know, slip out and you might drive your hand into the back of the blade. Um, more than likely, if it slips out, it'll be on the pole, which means your hand will just fly backwards. But this is in really tight. So I've had no trouble whatsoever um, you know, sawing into things. You know, I'm using a, basically a metal cutting blade, but you, you get the idea. Um, cinch it up, and it it stays on. Um, same here. Drop another blade in. This one's actually thicker. I noticed this. So grab that in, tighten it up. You know. And <laughs> Certainly not a reciprocating blade. I mean, a reciprocating performance here, especially with, what is this, nine teeth or something? Six teeth per inch. Uh, but it, it's kind of the proof of concept. I can use this as a handle. What about other blades? Um, here's a little uh, Diablo I, I would, might use with a small, uh, smaller reciprocating saw, kind of a jigsaw. Good enough. You know, I can use a smaller reciprocating, or I mean, a kind of a jigsaw metal one. I have to tilt them up, remember, because they are going to tilt under pressure. Perfectly fine. And then finally, you know, to get rid of the usual electrician's tape wrap, I've got a hacksaw blade. And I can use any length that fits in here. And I could have longer blades, whereas these are can be limited. Um, and I have to, because there's no support on the far end, as you can see, um, I have to basically restrict my use into this area if I'm using a, you know, a long blade like that. However... <laughs> That would certainly cut through something. Uh, it doesn't work with other things. You know, I tried it with a hex shaft. Thought, well, gosh, maybe I've got a driver handle here too. Now, nah, it's best for flat things. Even this, um, this it's a kind of a square taper on this sort of rat tail. Um, this doesn't stay in terribly well. You know, if I run it down there and crank it down, it does tend to wiggle under use. I prefer for things like that, a dedicated um, 
kind of a molded handle. Where's this one made? I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I've been uh, playing with. Um, and for 10 bucks, um, hard to beat. Plus they're great on files. Um, if you've got files, it's important to have a have a handle on them. They're all kinds. I mean, from just sticking a piece of wood on the end or duct tape or electrician's tape, but I prefer these. And this is the one that lives on this particular Nicholson file. Um, but I wanted something that I might be able to throw in a toolkit, multiple uses, and be able to hold blades, different kinds of blades, because I want to have more than one option. Um, usually I have hacksaw and I've got reciprocating saw blades, um, but something like that would allow me to, uh, to dig in a little better. With that, dock out.